I'm, I'm Sarah Wendell, better known as Smart Bitch Sarah from Smart Bitches Trashy Books, and I'm here with the fabulous Diana Holquist, and we are going to have this awesome conversation about contemporary romance. Great. I happen to love contemporary romance and have a campaign with Dear Author about saving the contemporary, and a lot of authors say, why does it need saving? It doesn't need saving, and I actually think that there are a lot of ways in which readers miss really good contemporary romance because there isn't as much of it as paranormal and historical. Absolutely. It's also very tricky to market because yes. historical, you know what that looks like. Paranormal, mm -hmm. you know what that looks like. Yes. Urban fantasy, woman, low slung leather pants, right. tattoo, sword, you know what you're getting. Absolutely. Contemporary is hard because it's hard to find <coughs> images and plots that appeal to everybody. Yes. Now your books, the first four, are they have an emotional depth to them. They're about real emotions and real problems. Mm -hmm. Like your first book, Make Me a Match. Make, Make Me a Match make was me my a first match. book, right? And you had a, a little girl with real emotional problems who mm -hmm. was trying to bring her parent or bring her, her father, father right. to um, basically being a matchmaker. Right. At right. a very young age. Yes. Which yes. is kind of odd. Yes, yes. And it lent a lot of emotional depth. And I think yeah. that, you know, a lot of the time readers expect light and happy. And then yeah. you get surprised by the real emotional content. But that's something you're very good at. What are some of the things that you like to explore in your contemporary romances? Um, well, you know, I always start a book with an idea. That's that's just how I write. And so, you know, for instance, I always have something on my mind that I want to say. Mm -hmm. So. Um, for instance, the, the book that I have out now, which is called How to Tame a Modern Rogue. So where I started that book was I had just read um, Loretta Chase, um, uh, the, her scoundrel book, and um, I was just blown away by that book. And I thought, what you were saying about how hard the contemporary is. So I think one of the hugest problems with the contemporary is that alpha male, because people love that alpha male. And to bring that alpha male into a contemporary romance is very difficult. Very hard. Very hard. And he has to be a soldier, and he has to be a fireman, and he has to be a... So I'm reading Loretta Chase, and here's this guy who's a scoundrel. <laughs> and I was like, I want him in a contemporary romance. I want to write How to Tame a Modern Rogue. I want to write, can a real modern woman love a bad man and how would that work in a contemporary romance so i always i always start with an idea and that's always where i start from and then what you were saying the deep emotional issues right. all right so if you take something so fantastic from from a historical right. a man who is so flawed and you know he's whoring and he's drinking and he's doing and he's broken yeah, oh, he's a broken, very broken man. But the way he expresses his brokenness, you cannot put in a contemporary novel. Okay, no, you're, you cannot have you the, cannot. The, Duke of, the Duke of Slut in a contemporary novel. You cannot have the Duke of Slut. You cannot Slut. have a exactly. profligate hoe bag hero. It no, just does you not cannot work. do it. So, what are the things that we would substitute? Talk about the awkwardness of putting on condoms. You would have I to do it like every other chapter with, with a hoe bag hero. We just don't want to do exactly. that. Exactly. It wouldn't work. No one would buy it. No one would be able no, to No, I mean, no publisher would buy it. It's not heroic. But how do you translate those things that readers on some level love? Yes. Do you see how tricky this is? It is very hard. It's very, very, very difficult. And so I came up with different ways to do it in How the Tame a Modern Rogue. And I think it turned out fun. And it's gotten really good reviews. So for instance, Excellent. nobody's going to be fighting in a, in a contemporary romance novel. Because men don't fight. Heroes don't fight. So um, they're soccer players. And they, they take it all out on the soccer field. So I'm able to substitute contemporary things into, uh, historical things, into the contemporary thing. But, um, but it's a challenge. It's, it's extremely hard. difficult. And one of the things you know, that I find in contemporary, we're talking about the alpha hero, is when you look at great contemporaries, like you did a panel earlier, mm -hmm. and on your panel, um, Louisa Edwards, right, who just wrote this fantastic book, um, Julie James, mm -hmm. who definitely one of the stars of the genre. Um, Kristen Higgins isn't here, but I would use her as another example. Oh, yes. No as question. someone who's like she rocks. hitting it out of the park. Oh, yeah. And if you look at their heroes, um, FBI agents, FBI agents, chefs, celebrity chefs, celebrities, 
um, uh, police officers. Police officers. So I think, to me, the biggest challenge of contemporary romance is how do you put the alpha hero in? And I think one of the biggest things, like I wrote a book, uh, my second book, which was nominated for Rita, Ooh. was called, which was very cool, it was called Sexiest Man Alive, and it was about a movie star. And that was like what Julie James did with just the sexiest man alive. You right. know, it was very similar. Right. And um, it's bringing that movie star in. And, so it's appropriate, um, appropriate alphas. Appropriate Sports, alphas. Military, mm -hmm. police, yes. movie stars, right. celebrity. And right. Some sort of position of dominance that's not socially intimidating. Exactly. And that's hard to come up with. It's, it's, har not it's hard to be original. It's very yeah. hard to be original. And, you know, somebody said in your workshop, which I thought was fascinating, which is what I hate in contemporaries, is the contrived situation. Oh, God. Right? I think I said that. And where, you know, she can't inherit unless she, like, marries the guy and, like, balances as a kid, the checkbook or something. Right, right. It doesn't Set work. Forth into will. Yeah, Not right. Now. Exactly. And I think, um, I think I have a visceral... Um, reaction against writing the cop. I don't want to write the cop because she's doing cops and I don't want to write the Navy SEAL because she's doing Navy SEALs and Kristen Higgins has like firemen all like, you know, those are hers, you know. And so I think when I'm writing my books and I'm plotting my books, what can my hero be? You know, how can he be? And that's one of the hardest where, things. Where are you going to find the alpha? Where are you going to find the alpha? It's extremely difficult. Well, something yeah. just occurred to me. Do and you I... think that sports teams are the new warriors? Like you have warriors of historical romance. And yeah. Most likely that motif is a sports hero. I think that's great. Yeah. And then you have Absolutely. The, the alpha male who is brooding and the, the quiet overseer of his family. That becomes mm -hmm. the, the FBI agent. Right. The police officer. Mm -hmm. These archetypes just shift into contemporary form. Right. And it, it makes it much more difficult because you really can't whip out the broadsword and start hacking away. At, you really can't. If you lose your no, temper, no. you could go to jail. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Absolutely.